Can I tell a story? Can I tell a story? I'll tell you the first time that I learned from myself when inauthenticity was not going to work in my line of work. I showed up to a room like this. I'm talking to a group, an, uh, a group about 200, 300 individuals. I'm excited. But along my way, I'm studying a, a particular speaker, and I love the way he communicates. His name is Les Brown. Has anyone heard of him? His name is Les Brown. He's a legendary, inspirational speaker. He tells his story with passion. So as a young speaker and communicator myself, I studied him to a T. By a show of hands, has anybody uh, been walking in their own path, their, their professional path, and along the way have taken parts and pieces from other people that, that allowed them to model who they are now? Am I by myself? Okay, okay, we're on the same page. Got it. So you guys can connect with me here, right? I'm studying someone who's ahead of me, better than me in a certain area. So I walk into a place, but here's the catch. I'm expected to be in this room who? I'm expected to be who in this room? So I don't show up as me. I show up as a secondary, watered down version of who? Les Brown. I'm excited because Les Brown comes and he goes like this and he does something amazing. He's talking to entrepreneurs and he has this statement. And he has this amazing voice and he says, I choose not to be a common man. It is my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity and not security. I do not wish. And I said, whoa, that's a man. He's going. He's whoa. I choose not to be a common man. It is my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity and not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen made humble and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master nor bend to any threat because it is my heritage to stand erect, proud and afraid to face the world boldly and say this too I have done. I said, whoa. <laughs> and I studied it. I listened to him. He was powerful. He was, he was charismatic. He was engaging. He was a force. He could speak in front of 80,000 people and everyone listened to his word. I said, I think I could do that. I'm not sure, though. So it's my turn. I'm like, hey, guys, I'm Isaac. Hey, Isaac. That's how they got, hey, hey. So I step up and it's my turn. I choose not to be a common man. It, it is my right, <clears throat> it is my right to be uncommon if I can. And guess what happens next? I forget the whole thing. I forget the whole thing. Can you imagine being in front of 300 people and forgetting what you were saying? Why? Because they weren't my words. Oh, you guys got to, oh, come on. They weren't my words. Oh, can I get a, I, can I get a yeah? yeah? Can I get a oh yeah? yeah? They weren't my words. I showed up into the room as an inauthentic version of Isaac Sirwanga and they sniffed me out. They said, why? No one asked for a secondary version of you. No one asked for you to copy the next man. I want to see who you are. Where are you from? What makes you engaging? What's the energy that you bring to the room? What is your story? And so I began to share my story in my way. So when you say be authentic, I started to speak in a way that was only the way that I can connect with young people. On my journey, my focus is to connect with young people and create leaders, individuals who can inform the mind and inspire the hearts of the people that are around them. I teach them that 5149 is a concept that allows you to make connections, to create and cultivate relationships with the people around you. I tell people to dream big. D is for desire and R is for resilience and E is for excellence and A is for ambition and M is for motivation because this is how we dream, but we dream big. B-I-G, believe in greatness. That's me. Oh, you guys can give a, oh, oh, that's, but what am I saying? That's me. That's my energy. That's what I do for young people. That's the way in which I show up in the room. And when I began to do that and own that, yes, there might be some people who don't love all of that energy, but guess what? There are a lot of people who do. Oh, can I get a yeah? yeah. Can I get an oh yeah? oh yeah? 
the reason why I'm sharing this story is because as we leave this room today, the one thing that I do want to remind you of is each and every one of you are original and unique in the way in which you see the world. Your perspective, your insight, your knowledge, your background, your culture, everything about you is powerful beyond measure. But when we step into rooms and we try to act like the person to the left or try to act like the person to the right, we water down ourselves. Can I get a yeah? yeah. Can I get a oh yeah? Oh yeah. 